Hello everyone, welcome back to Gujarati Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the lies of Pi is having. Controller is not working issue which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you're having this particular trouble. The all we have to do is we just need to do a simple restart on your PC. For this we just need to go over here in the start. Click on this power icon and go for a restart. Once after restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and that is what we have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to disable or uh, enable the steam input. That is what we have to do. For enable or disable the steam input, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties and we have to uh, go over here in the controller and we have to go over here and just click on this one. And as you can see, if you click on enable the steam input, you can try launch the game or enable the steam input. If you can try with enabling the steam input or disabling the steam input. So if enabled steam input is not working, you can try with giving the disable the steam input. So you can try any one of the thing among both. So either you can go with enable the steam input and you can try with disable the steam input. Any one of the things can be done. Once afterwards, we just need to launch the game and it will be working fine. And this is what we have to do. The next one is all about after trying with this. If the issue is still there, the next one is all about we have to launch the game and we have to use only the controllers. So this might be working for many of the users. So this did work for many of the users as well. So when you are launching the game and if you are using uh, trying to play the game using the controller, it will work it. So you have to use only the controller. You should not be using anything else. Once after the game is working fine and it is smooth, you can move to the next one. Next one is all about apart from this is all about we have to disconnect all other peripherals. So might be you might be connected with the USB ports might be filled with a lot of things. So just remove everything from there. Once you remove everything, we just need to try connect it back and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. It worked for many users. We can try this out. Next one is all about we have to launch the game in the big picture mode. So for the big picture mode, uh, this is also a 100% working steps which can be done. So just go over here in this particular icon. As you can see under the big picture mode, just click, click on this one. And when you go for the big picture mode, this is how it looks like. And now we'll be entering to the, uh, you know, you'll be entering to the big picture mode. And from here, we can click on Lies of P and we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine. So for many of the users, when they launch over here, it worked for them. So you can try the same. And if it's not working, we just need to go over here in the Steam. If you wanted to exit, just go to the power. And there is an option called Exit Big Picture Mode. And it will be taken back. And once afterwards, we just need to go back over here. And we just need to go back. And uh, over here, as you can see, uh, over here, if you go back, you'll be able to see the lies of P. And we can try launch the game. And that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about after trying with this, all these things, the next one is all about we have to, uh, you know, we have to turn off the steam overlay, which is a very important step and it, it is going to work for you for sure. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Make sure this is turned off and once afterwards try launching the game that will be working fine. Next one, we have to close all the overlay applications. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go over here in the task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So we just need to go over here and we need to remove the Discord, which is the uh, example of overlay applications. And we have to remove the overclocking applications such as, you know, uh, you know, I have to say, uh, you know, revert to, you know, MSA Afterburner, etc. Just remove everything from here and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine. Last and the least one is all about even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try using the wired controller. Even after trying using the wired controller, if you're still having the issue, the next is we have to install the mic, uh, Xbox accessories. So uh, go to the Microsoft Store and we have to go over here and we need to download the Xbox accessories. I don't know how this is working, but this did work for many users. So just go over here and search for Xbox accessories. Now from here, once you go for the Xbox accessory, we just need to select this one. As you can see, it is already installed on my computer. So just open this and update the I update your controller and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with the controller is not working. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.